I uh, often perform my poetry to uh, household names such as mum and dad. And uh, <laughs> once I got the opportunity to perform in front of these celebrities, I remember Brian Blessed was at the back and he just went, do you just do poems? <laughs> I said, no, Brian, I'm also really good at impressions. Uh, I've often been accused of not doing relatable humour in my poem, so here's one we can all hopefully relate to. Peter had been sat in Steve's house for 30 minutes and he still didn't know the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> Steve was a poor host, so Peter killed him. <laughs> but had no idea how to dispose of the body as he still couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Uh, here's another relatable one for you, if that didn't quite hit the spot. Uh, I want you to put yourself in Gillian's shoes for this poem. It's called uh, Gillian's Shoes. Uh, <laughs> sweat poured down Gillian's face. Her heart pounded as she reached the last meters of the 26 miles. She was in the lead. She must have been. There was no one else. <laughs> th th there was no one else. Maybe she'd gotten a date at the marathon wrong. Uh, I've also been accused of not moving uh, on stage, and I need to prove them wrong, these other comedians who have a go at me, so. <laughs> this next poem. <laughs> Actually, it's not a poem, it's a little note from my girlfriend. Sometimes she leaves me little notes in my set just to cheer me up when I'm on stage. This just says, isn't it strange how broken glass tastes exactly like blood? <laughs> 